Hello folks, this is Hescon Spy, the Spy, and we're coming to you live for Command and Conquer 3, Tiberian Wars. And um, that training session on boot camp has granted me uh, graduated from the camp. So now I should be able to be aware how to be able to command my armies, how to build troops, and how to be able to build structures and be able to conquer enemies. So now we're going to see of the campaigns. Right now, GDI campaign is where we're going to start. It's where we should be starting, by the way. For those that's new to the game. GDI prologue. Now, you guys are going to be probably be seeing some... Look at all these crystals there. So over the continent, over the planet. Yeah. This will be good. Let's get this party started. Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. Well, good to be Today's back. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. Decades of war and civil unrest have left these regions in a state of social collapse. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these Nod. zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Cain. Cain, Cain is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. Like However, in recent years, that? the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. That's These good. blue zones are considered the last refuge and help of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. I will do my most best to turn uh, this bastards in uh, or to kill them. Capture or dead, I will do as commanded. As the new GI commander. Hello? Commander, General Jack Granger could have you on board. That's going to spot Please. commander. It's good to have you. These are interesting times. I don't know if you know it, but Inops has downgraded Nod's threat level to low. Really? With Kane apparently dead, but Nod has been fractured by internal power struggles. Recruitment's down 25%, and they've abandoned four bases in the last year. The prediction is another decade of peace. Me? I say it's the calm before the storm. Same here. 28 years of fighting Nod, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty. As long as there's Tiberium on Earth, not as a serious threat. If our intel says otherwise, it's because Nod wants us to take them off our radar. That's why I want you to go to North Carolina. Some Carolina. security stop would look like a Protos delivery truck yesterday, but it turned out to be a Nod vehicle. Before it could be searched, the driver so blew it up course. and soft along with it. I want you to take some troops down there, see what you can turn up. Hopefully I'm wrong and this is just a false alarm. And if you're not but wrong, if I'm right, be prepared for the worst. This is Lieutenant Santa Telfair. She's from Inops. She'll give you all the details of the mission. Lieutenant? Thank you. Good to meet you. Good afternoon, Lieutenant. Commander. Good afternoon. Glad to be of service. Here's what we know so far. After the delivery truck incident, we turned Sky Sentry onto the area. And bingo, we located a high output subterra energy grid in the middle of nowhere. Really? Obviously, no, it's up to no good. Your ace in the hole is an old base we have there. Bring it back online and you can recon the entire area. My advice is to engage the enemy only if necessary. No telling what those maniacs are hiding down there. If they surrender, Good luck, Commander. I'm here if you need me. Right. 
We'll call you if we're needed. Let's see the briefings. Investigate possible non persons in the Badlands of North Carolina. You're probably going to be seeing a video briefing too, just to let you guys know. But right now, this is what we got for the briefing investigations. From here on in, I'll be using going on difficulties of hard mode. So that way, it wouldn't be as easy or as is what it says. I will be successful, no doubt about that. Just pray for me when I do try coming in situations that's hard, that I'm going to need to be on my toes. Think of my feet and such. So let's go investigate this outpost and see if there's any non presence there. Greetings, Commander. This is GDI Battle Command. Good Here to, to get you up to speed on some of the ground operations for this mission. All right. Establishing video uplink. Commander, we need you to locate the old GDI outpost and investigate rumors of a Nod presence in the area. I understand. Incoming transmission. This outpost was abandoned many years ago after its strategic value waned. Once you arrive at the outpost, it can be reactivated remotely. Understand. Ready to be on normal patrol duty. Ready for orders, Commander. Right. Rifle squad. Excellent, excellent. That starts good. That means they're going to hit, kill some bad guys even more so. The yes, aggressive stance. We're going to be on patrol group one. Yes, sir. All right. Ground support. All right, soldiers. Let's move out. Move. Be careful. Enemy unit sighted. There is not presence. Right Take them out, sir, boys. Establishing video of Looks like Nod is here after all. Eradicate the Nod forces occupying our outpost. Once those forces are evicted, we'll restore the outpost remotely, granting you access. Objective complete. Booyah! That's done. Rendezvous point confirmed. Tiberium is the only resource you need to collect. Once you've built a refinery, your harvester will automatically seek it out. Once the harvester is full, or the field is depleted, the harvester will return and begin refining the Tiberium. Right. I'm going to an MCV unit if I'm going to do any buildings, which we really would have some right now. This is your mobile Speaker construction vehicle. Angel. Once it is unpacked, it'll allow you to construct various structures. Just what I asked for. A delivery present. Good sign. This place is definitely needed to get a remodeling around here. Establishing video uplink. Okay. Commander, you will need a bigger force to stop Nod. Select your construction yard or the structure tab on the command bar, then click the barracks icon. Understood. Building. Incoming transmission. Before engaging more Nod forces, bolster your own army with infantry. From your construction yard, build a barracks. Then from your barracks, train three rifleman squads. Three riflemen already on it. It's going to take a while. Construction complete. New construction options. Training. Three riflemen coming right up. From a barracks or other production structure, you can queue up multiple units. Multiple structures of the same type allow for additional build queues. Rifle squad ready. Dead. Rifle squad. Objective complete. Sandbags! This would be good. Ground support. Kind of like... Enemy in the unit. What the? Our base is under attack. Our power's out? Commander, your base is low on power. For additional power, build a power plant from your production tab. Those non bastards are assholes. Incoming transmission. To restore your base to full power, build a power plant. Remember, when your base is low on power, units and structures build much slower. Understood. They'll go faster. Building. In the meantime, you can remove buildings from the power grid to free up more power. This will allow the rest of your base to continue functioning. To do this, select a structure and then open the interface. Find the power Let's icon and press A to power down the structure. Only structures that require power can be turned off. 
You may need to turn off more than one structure in order to meet your power requirements. Construction complete. New construction options. Well done. The green power bar located on the left side of the minimap indicates that your base now has enough power. Incoming transmission. Repair the command post to help restore this GDI base to full operational capacity. Right. Rifle squad ready. Rifle squad ready. Got nothing available right now, Rifle so my ready. option is going to repair. Repairing. Repair Objective complete. Rifle squad ready. Expanded. Oh, maker. That must Rifle be an outpost. Ready. Commander, it seems Nod has noticed us. They're sending a force to destroy our base. Quickly build and deploy a watchtower base defense from the support structure tab. Thanks. New bonus objective. This must be the watchtower. Right ready. Good for it against infantry units. Reporting in. Yes, sir. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Unit lost. Bonus objective complete. Oh yeah. Construction complete. Establishing the hill uplink. All right, Commander. You need to push forward and destroy the Nod outpost guarding that bridge. I'm sending reinforcements now. Let them have it! Incoming transmission. Nod presence appears to be minor. Eliminate these dangerous Nod structures. Right. Move! Missile squad reinforcements have arrived. New unit types available for training at the barracks. Missile man? Okay then. Training. On account of the Nod presence, additional squads of missile soldiers have been requisitioned. Missiles are much more effective against structures than standard GDI rifles. Missile squad ready for combat. New missile squad subjective. ready for combat. Missile squad ready for combat. Oh, uh, a second of firing. Missile squad ready for combat. Shit. Missile squad ready for combat. Repairing. Missile squad ready for combat. Aye, this won't take a while. On hold. Put that on hold for a while. Yeah, these things is gonna take a while. I can see why I'm going to end uh, up. If there's a uh, refinery. At least we got some watchtowers to watch over the base. Especially, as I was saying, these these foxholes are kind of really reminds me of World War Two and World War One when people just hold up in those the structures. Construction complete. It's really more, much more effective. Right. Building. Missile squad ready for combat. Missile squad ready for combat. Insufficient funds. I think we're going in uh, barracks. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Building. Construction complete. Bonus objective complete. Knew it. Reporting in. Yes, roger that, sir. Forward advance! Light them up. Make a push! Objective complete. Reporting in. Incoming transmission. Further investigation of the area is needed. Repair the bridge so that our troops can cross the river. 
Okay, cross the river. That was too close. Engineers have two important functions. First, they can repair structures and bridges. Second, they can capture enemy structures and tech buildings, allowing you full control of these structures. To do this, select your engineer and then press A on the structure you wish to repair or capture. New Just give me a second to get in there. Engineers are not combat units and cannot protect themselves. Right. Additional engineers can be trained at the barracks. New unit types available for training at the barracks. No problem. Bridge repaired. Training. Training. Objective complete. Battlefield expanded. Holy maker. They got their vehicles. They have vehicles. Yeah, we're probably going to need some backup to deal with this. I can figure it out. It won't be long. Structure sold. Bonus objective complete. Let's go to work. I'm definitely going to need that Tiberian spy that's going to help my resources like it did back in the captured. Squad ready. Affirmative. New bonus objective. Alright, team. Let's move out. New bonus objective. Unit under attack. Unit lost. Establishing Those non vehicles present a problem, Commander. I agree. Build an airfield and mend some orcas. They are great against ground vehicles and good against structures. However, orcas have limited ammunition and will return to their airfields when they run out. Incoming transmission. Orca reinforcements are set to arrive soon. You will need to build an airfield in order to maintain any aircraft. Understood. Unit promoted. Training. Rifle squad ready. Training. Unit Rifle under squad attack. ready. Missile squad ready for combat. Building. Rifle squad ready for combat. Definitely build a Tiberian silo that's going to help with resources. Construction complete. Orca reinforcements are set to arrive soon. You will need to build an airfield in order to maintain any aircraft. New construction options. Missile squad ready for combat. Rifle squad ready. Missile squad ready for combat. Construction complete. Incoming transmission, right. Commander. It is imperative that you destroy the Nod base. Right. Both infantry. Eliminate these key Nod structures to rid this area of Nod presence. All right. Rifle squad this ready. Each landing pad can only sustain one air unit. Each airfield has four landing pads. Once an air unit has expended its ammo supply, it must return to its landing pad. Otherwise, it will crash. I'm guessing those dots are its ammo. Unit under attack. Worker ready for lift off. Rifle squad ready. Missile squad ready for combat. Rifle squad ready. Missile squad ready for combat. Missile squad ready for combat. Unit promoted. Rifle squad Construction ready. complete. Rifle squad ready. Unit under attack. Confirmed. Rifle squad ready. Missile squad ready for combat. Rifle squad ready. Alright. Squad ready. I suppose good as big. 
This way, rifle squad. Rifle squad. seem to be effective against for entry. Building captured. Bonus objective complete. Yeah, this command problem. Stabilizers engaged. Work up ready for lift up. All systems go. That base is getting too huge. Insufficient funds. Gans or infantry. Move 
Definitely do not want that harvest to be caught in the crossfire. Right, this is going to be problematic. Going to take longer than expected. Come in. Yes, sir. Confirm. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> All right, folks, I'm going to need to cut this one short. So this has gone by the spy sign up. We'll be right back after these messages for part two.